Hey folks, it's Grimwit from NatchEvil.com, and, um, uh, yeah, this again. <laughs> Whoa! Just pick a direction, lady. That'll do. Uh, no gems? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. No one can face the Elefante and live. Okay, there's clearly something going on up there. I need to climb. I don't know why, it's just whenever you get the ability to go up, you must go up and see what's cooking. In this uh, edition of... Oh, come... No! Oh, God. Oh, God, I didn't... I didn't save near here. I'd have to go through that whole mess again. I'm gonna die, you guys. Son of a bitch! Why do they have to be spikes? Alright, let's... Screw that, let's go down first. Let's go down and find... I don't know, something, a one-up, anything, please. I don't want to die. Okay, I, I need a key. Climb up here. <laughs> there we go. Alright, now I need a key mod. I'm so clever. I'm so clever. All the time. <laughs> I'm a clever Kimon. Oh, she. Alright, I am missing something, aren't I? Kimon, tell me your secrets. Tell me you love me. Let's try. It doesn't seem likely, but let's try the spider? Nope, not the spider. Okay, let's... Will hitting these guys do anything for me? I don't know, I can't hit them. Oh, there we go. That was a clear hit, but that didn't give me anything. Uh, okay, I have two pipeways that lead up. Neither of them are helpful. There's this little guy down here, which he's, he's kind of cute, but... What the... What? Well, give me a one-up anyway. What's what's going on over here? Is there n nothing? Um, hmm. I'm kind of at a loss. Okay, if I were creating a game right here, like right where this crook is, I would have made a secret passage for the Kimon. But that's that that was not to be this time round. Let's climb up a little bit. Just to get a second look at what's going on over here. Pull out the Kimon. And let's see. Maybe I'm maybe my memory's rough. Was there a door over here that I missed? Or that I don't Yes there was. Okay. And there's spikes over there. Let's check it out. Ah, there's the key. Huh. And Honestly, I, th I think finally we have a puzzle worthy of our uh, stature. I th that goes there. Yep. Alright, that looks good. And... There we go. Not much of a puzzle, but uh, it was a puzzle, alright. Alright. Looks good. Uh... <laughs> Cooler than it is useful. Uh, speaking of which... Awesome. Let's switch to the fireballs, and let's hope we don't die. That would be most inconvenient, said Dorian Gray. Alright. I have defeated you, Dor. You must now submit to me. <coughs> Whoa, what the... what was that? Oh, it was the gate. Okay. Oh, um, hmm. There are little passageways up here. And they make it look very much low. What? what? Hello? Hello? Hello, sir? Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's look up there first. This looks like a job for a Kimon. Hey, Jet. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Cat. That was the definition of useless. Oh. Oh, son of a... I take that back. That was the definition of useless. How about we take it slow? Easy. Like the low rider. Alright, Elefante. Kick-ass take names. Why you little... You come down here this instant. Come on. Come, get down here. Get down here. Okay, we are clearly not in agreement here. <laughs> Derp. Alright, moving on. Uh, okay, very dangerous place. Very dang ooh. Um <sighs> Two lives, two lives, two lives, two lives. Well it's a kind of it works. Yee. I cannot believe that worked. Was that the right place to go? I don't even know. Let's find out. Ooh, I recognize that music. Uh, are you, like, tied up? Because that would be awesome! Alright. Talk to me, baby. There we go. I have untied you, you sexy, sexy beast. Uh... <laughs> Shall we... What kind of voice shall we give this woman? Um, how about... How about the Vulture from Looney Tunes? Thank you for freeing me. Once, I was the guardian of this labyrinth. Boy, that is... N that's Opie. That's not... Oh, well, fuck it. But a terrible creature imprisoned me here. For your kindness, I will teach you a magical dance that you can use to foil evil. Watch closely now. Okay, hip bump and wave. I think we can do that. Down and B for new harpy action. You can review the dance moves on your sub screen. Practice hard and never forget them. The more you know. Do -do -do -do. All right, let's give it a try. Down B. I'm dumb. Sorry, that was down A. What I actually want is B. No. Uh, down. B. Yeah, there we go. What? <laughs> I'm so... Oh, God. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very sorry. It is harder to explain. The controls for Shantae... The, uh, the Harpy is the exact same controls for an old arcade game I used to play all the time called Joust. Which probably means when she attacks, she attacks by landing on things, is my guess. We're gonna find out. <laughs> so, <laughs> you gotta... Oh, that. That is a sense of humor. That is a sense of humor I can get behind. These designers had a sense of humor. I am, I am dead serious. This, these controls are exactly like Joust. So if you've played Joust, and I haven't in a while, so this will be, this will be tricky. If you've played Joust, then you know what I'm talking about. Uh, 
this might not be so smart. It might be... Yeah, it might be smarter to go in as Shantae. Wow, all right. There we go. All right. That was brand new. That was brand new and a little little more than awesome, to tell the truth. Did I get an extra heart container? Can't be. Okay. We hit upwards, yes we do, and now it's, I guess it's, it's harpy time. And honestly, she's kind of a cute harpy. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. The thing about it, though, is uh, when she walks, she has momentum. Whenever she moves, she has momentum. And the reason why that's like, eh, whoa. Um... Quickly go down here. Oh, you. Okay, the reason why that's kind of like eh is it makes her harder to control. That's that's the truth of it. And I, it's probably done on, like that on purpose. Hey, a warp squid. I bet it misses his mommy. That's number three, isn't it? Anyway, so the hard to control is probably done on purpose just to make it so that you don't go flying everywhere. So that the deck, so it takes some skill to get through as a harpy. Uh, up, please. Cool. Okay. I suspect that I actually was supposed to go left instead of right to get a key or something. So, let's harpy up. And head out. Oh, other way around. I need to get a key this direction. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where do you think you're going? Okay, I'm liking the harpy. Harpy controls just like my childhood. <laughs> I thought so. I thought so. I knew it. Um, hmm. Ooh, yes. Quite nice. Whoop, whoop. There we are. Ah, Zaki. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, that felt too easy. Alright, you know what? I'm not gonna argue. Don't worry, bowling ball. I'll make sure you get them to go where you need to go, which is hell. Moving on. No. Yeah. She even sounds like my childhood. That walking sound? That sounds like Joust. Hey, yeah, Warp Squid, that's number four, and I know where number five is, and we can certainly get to it. Hmm. Okay, we need a key somewhere. Nope, 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 don't do it. Ah. Hmm. Actually, you know what, let's, let's head this way. I'm sorry for the silence. One of the things about controlling, uh, the harpy is that it does take some concentration. Uh, I was just here. 
Or actually, I probably wasn't just here, but... Alright, Harpy Shante. Get some flying done. Alright! One up, one up, one up. Yes! Whoa, what? Why didn't I kill that guy? Not cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> I forgot where I'm going. Where am I going? Is it this way? What am I doing? What? Oh, um, yeah, you know what? We can handle you. There we go. Try it, Doctor. It's as easy as pie. Whoa. There. That's what I want to get down to. Where's that thing? Oh, shoot. Whoa. Damn. That's dangerous. And so is this. <laughs> okay, I think... I think somewhere around here, I seem to rem yes, here it is. I need to get up there. But first, there's a warp squid to rescue. And we need to take care of that, because I bet it misses its mommy. You. How do I get down to you? You. Let's head downward. Ah, oh, son of a... We're still good. And let's pull up the harpy here. Oh! Ultimate male, right here. What's that, Borb Squid? That is number five. Made a smirk. Made a smirk stuff. What the hell are you doing, Shante? All right. One up. One up. One up. One up. One up. Yes. Alright, was this where I needed to go, or was it someplace else? Whoa, 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 whoa. Here we go, cheat the system. Oh no. Oh well, it's not too big a deal. It's now more of an annoyance than anything else. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Alright, continuing. I think I've gone too far. Oh, I went too far. <laughs> Butt noise. <laughs> Raspberry. Whatever. Yep. Just following a bowling ball. Come on. Alright, there's a way up top here that the harpy can get to. So let's try that. Takeoff speed. Ready for takeoff. I am your captain speaking. We are currently flying a harpy at, oh, feels like uh, negative 14 feet on the ground. We'd like to remind you that, well, 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 to keep clear of all spikes and bowling balls and uh, enjoy your flight. Also, please remember that the Illuminati is watching you and they know what you're doing. You were... your stewardess will be walking around... Stewardess. Is it stewardess? It's flight attendant now, isn't it? The flight attendant will be uh, marching around with tinfoil hats for you to wear in order to block the signals that are coming from the Illuminati satellites deep in space and orbiting Mars. Ooh. 
I haven't gone against him yet, but he was no match for the Elefante. Elefante? I have names for all of these things, don't I? Okay, from this point on, it is Elefante. Oh, close. Oh, I had it. Get, get back there. There we are. It is Elefante, uh, Kimon. I'm going to call the Spider Charlotte because, I mean, it's obvious. If you, if you went through high school, you know which book we're talking about. And um, the Harpy's name is Joust. Surely you joust. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, it's a Night Tales all over again. No! Oh, God damn. God. No! Got one life left. I can, I can do this. Now I'm not even gonna fucking waste the potion. What's the best way to do this? Right here. Oh god. Oh god. I'm so fucking stressed. Okay. I don't. I don't care. We're just, we're just gonna follow this bowling ball back to the left. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. I'm alive. Let's hear it for life. Shanti, do the life dance. This is episode two of How to Succeed in Evil. The Not So Sinister Dr. Loeb. Originally aired February 23rd, 2005. It had taken Edwin's lawyer, Topper Hagelblatt, all of 30 minutes to get him out of jail. A study in contradictions, Topper was a chain-smoking powerlifter who consumed scotch by the oaken barrelful and vitamins by the metric ton.